What does a single modern woman bring to the table? Pain, fear. What do men actually get? It's a common question, a very modern question. I am the, the, the table. In large part, it's used to shame a lot of women like, yo, woman, you're talking a lot of crap, but what do you bring? Nothing! <laughs> what do you bring to the table? Nothing? Yeah, there you go. For the most part, woman, you bring one thing. <laughs> one thing. Company and time, yeah. Some men would say she just brings WAP. Disgusting. Just WAP. I have autonomy. Okay. I have a good head on my shoulders. Sure. Big heart, fat, poom poom. What? Big heart, fat, poom poom. It's a damn lie. Okay. Very modest. Very, <laughs> very modest. Big heart, fat, poom poom. Okay, sure. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm built Ford motherfucking tough, bitch. I'm built Ford tough. Ford tough, okay. Not BMW or Audi tough. I'm built Ford tough, tough, tough. You're a car. Cars don't talk. But I guess, you know, she's Ford tough. Tough, tough, tough. Very common brand woman. <laughs> Very common. <laughs> tough, tough, tough. That's a common brand woman. Big heart, fat, poom, poom. No, I'm kind of spiraling, but. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, that makes, yeah, okay, well, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. But what does a woman bring to a man's table? Fat, poom, poom. Men work hard to be the men that they are. A lot of them are less, they're a bit lazy. So being a man working hard in 2023, you have your life together. What can a woman actually bring to your table? Now, it's not that women can't bring anything to a table. Of course, of course you can. But do some women overestimate and oversell themselves? And it's like, woman, that's not what I actually want. Nope. You're bringing something I don't want to this table. You're bringing fast food to this table, woman. This is fine dining. You're at the wrong table. What do you, what do you mean you don't like me? So this is the topic right now, okay? When you met me, you had a house, you had a good paying job, you had a paid off car, but you wanted to date me. And here we have my point. Here we have my point. A wife asking her husband, well, you, your life was pretty decent before you met me. You had everything. The world is mine! The world is mine! clearly financially stable you're clearly a focused put together man but you wanted to date me so i mean you know you know what did i bring to your table boom, boom. now a lot of men would know the answer already boom, boom. i want a family a lot of men would know the answer already. A lot of men would probably look at this woman and think, yeah, woman, I know what you'd bring to my table. If I have everything already, if I can do everything myself, I know exactly what you'd bring to my table. Boom, boom. It's all I've got. But let's, <laughs> let's listen. So what did I bring to the table? Well, you were very smart and organized. You have a value system that aligned with mine to build a future upon together we can build with build on as a team <laughs> he's saying it very quietly he's saying it very quietly it's like yeah it sounds good it doesn't sound convincing it sounds good though i mean it sounds like yeah obviously yeah woman you do bring all those you bring those qualities smart and organized you have a value system that aligns with mine nice but she doesn't seem convinced about something i wonder why so a potential solid future i want a family yeah that's a good answer um i was gonna say that what women bring to the table is um peace stop it <laughs> peace <laughs> and fertility <laughs> <Stop>. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> let me stop <laughs> oh let me stop let me stop here there peace wow what he said actually what he actually said now makes a lot more sense okay woman no peace no peace uh, okay fertility not being rude so long as she's you know she can still you know obviously have children she's not you know she's a barren wasteland you get my point i'm not gonna say it. i'm not gonna sound rude but you get my point so long as her eggs are intact in other words fertility to a degree peace peace no there is no peace no in no way to be bad at all not saying that women are a burden when you bring them in no, 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 i'm not saying that but let's be honest you can't have a woman in your life without giving her attention which from you as a man requires more effort yeah. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. That's normal and natural. You have someone in your life. You're not just, yeah, you're there, woman. Now just be, just exist. And I'll come and, I'll come and sleep with you when I want. 
Perfect. Oh, that's cruel. That's that's morbid. Okay. So of course, as a man, if you actually care about your woman, you you will be attentive to your woman, which requires extra effort from you. Nothing wrong. That's normal, natural. It's supposed to be. That's sexy. Yeah. How much effort? Now that's that's up for debate. So my point is. Peace is not something you generally get from bringing a woman into your life because it doesn't matter how much you do and how much you give her. A woman's always going to find something to have to, you know, complain about, nag about. No, it's, it's too much. <gasps> do you still love me? Uh, I'm not crazy. Of course, I'm just hormonal. Stress over and just waffle about. No, there is no peace endlessly because she's a woman not even saying that to be not even saying that to be rude women talk a lot oh, oh shut up woman sometimes women are just talking for no reason it's like bust, bust, bust that thing up. Yeah, all right all right there's only so much i can hear as a man you know but that's fucking ridiculous look you have a wife you're going to listen to her even when she's making waffling tiktoks like this you gotta you're gonna listen to her and answer her as gently as possible peace peace no nah, she was probably disturbing him to make this tiktok Say peace. <laughs> I bring you so much peace. peace. I bring you so much peace in this house. This is not. <laughs> yeah, this is not convincing. Yeah, yeah, no one's convinced. Say peace. No one's convinced. He's your husband. He's not convinced to bring him peace. This is my point. I bring you. So much peace. No, you don't. I bring you so much peace in this house. This did not go how I thought it would. Women do bring a lot to the table. Pum, pum. A decent woman can bring a lot to a table, admittedly. That pum, pum. If we're not gonna act like women don't bring anything except WAP, sometimes that's all they bring. But seriously, women can bring women can bring a lot to a table. Peace isn't one of them. As a man, you could love the socks off a woman. You could love them damn socks off a woman. And she's been wearing them for three days. You could love them three day old socks off that woman. It does not matter. You know she's not bringing peace to your life. Death. She's bringing you. <laughs> I was gonna say joy, but I think that's. <laughs> it's not funny a woman brings her to your table you, you get the woman just just her you get the woman and everything that comes along with her let me tell you something if your girlfriend asks you what you would do if she was a worm or if she was a puddle of water or anything stupid like that you just tell her exactly what she wants to hear because she's never gonna be a worm tell her what she wants to hear what is the point and actually bringing logic to something like that it's just gonna hurt her feelings she's crazy oh my god <laughs> it's not even about hurting a woman's feelings sometimes as a man you get it you lie to her you tell her some bullshit to make her feel feel better but sometimes as a man women ask some just bullshit i can't be as delusional as you right now i can't I can't fall into that delusion right now. If you were a worm, the fuck? What, 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 what am I going to do with you? Fat pum pum. What am I going to do with you, woman? Would I love you if you were a worm? It's, you get it. Just say, yeah, I'd love you the same, woman. I'd love you the same. I'd build your little habitat and I'd keep you with me in that little habitat constantly to make, you know, make you feel loved and with me, even if you were a worm. All that just... <sighs> Even if as a man you get it, sometimes it's like, this hurts. Uh, this hurts. I like fiction, but logical fiction. Come on, logical fiction. Come on. So are you saying that logic hurts women? <laughs> <laughs> One time I asked a guy that I was seeing. Yes. 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 How many times have I said it now? Three? Yes. Again, just, just add to it. Yes. It's just... If he would still like me if I was a puddle of water, and he said, no, what? And I got so sad. That hurts my feelings. Wait, so he's supposed to lie? I wanted him to say, I would put you in a mason jar and put you in my pocket and then take you everywhere to travel the world. So, Chad, wow. what have we learned, guys? She's crazy. There you go, some superficial fantasy. It's sort of romantic to a degree, isn't it? It's sort of romantic that a woman would want you to still love her the same if she was like, you know, a puddle of water. And it's like, it just doesn't make sense. Even in science fiction, all right, Mary Jane turned into water, but she evaporated, you know? So it's like, you know, you, you weren't carrying Mary Jane around with you, but you know, all right, all right this, this is too far. Let's just, let's just focus. Let's, let's not go on that tangent. No! Not to even give women this one, but rarely do you ever hear a woman actually answer the question with a decent answer by saying, well, just my proximity to you makes you feel more as a man. Yeah. Have a nice day.
big heart fat poom poom. <laughs>